these players' bounce-back seasons would be X-factors for their teams. We'll get into this later in the video, but first, we just want to say that 84% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you're looking for a home to daily NHL content, look no further, go down below, hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Hattrick HQ community. But with that said, let's get right into the main topic of the video today, which is these players are the factors for their teams. And the first player we're going to talk about today is someone who I'm really excited of. It's Cole Caulfield. He shined last night in that preseason game against Ottawa as he had one goal, one assist, 17 minutes time on ice. He did score the game winner in that goal, in that game, sorry. Uh, but Mark, I am so hyped on this guy. You know how big of a fan of Cole Caulfield I am. And last night he shined. Somehow he <laughs> developed his shot even better than what it already is. Uh, he, that guy got a hell of a shot on him. Uh, I can't wait to see what a full season of Cole Caulfield's going to do here in the NHL. But another thing to note is that his speed, uh, I think he improved his speed drastically over this offseason because last night he was just out there flying. I know he's a genuinely uh, criticized for being an undersized forward, but that his speed, man, is crazy. He was flying down the boards last night. I'm so excited to see what Caulfield can do. And one thing that kind of blew my mind last night was he threw a reverse hit. I couldn't believe it. My eyes, I had to rewind the TV. Uh, but he did th throw a huge reverse hit last night. I'm so excited about Cole Caulfield, America. I can't wait to see what a full season of him is like with the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, we seen last year with Montreal when Cole went down with an injury. It was really missed within the Montreal lineup. We've seen this lack of goal scoring. You still have guys that can score within the lineup. But Cole is such a big piece. We've seen him go on a big tear at the start of the year, which is scoring at an incredible rate. He's the best goal scorer on the team. He's one of the best young up-and-coming goal scorers. And just overall, you could just really feel that impact of him being in the lineup gone when they ultimately did lose him to an injury. So I think having him back is just a huge piece for this Montreal team. You get this guy that's going to be lethal on the power play. He's going to score goals. He's going to help set guys up. And it just helps with not only his development, but other guys' development. If he does play with a guy like Suzuki, Suzuki, you can see his playmaking start to work a little better. They build chemistry. They build the ultimate picture of having these two guys in their top line to push them to the playoffs. It might not be this year, but I think this is a guy that's going to make a big impact from this year onward. And just starting with him staying healthy, scoring a bunch, building this chemistry, it's just massive to have a guy like this back. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. We're going to show you a look at Cole Caulfield's game winner last night. As we see, he's burst down the right side, caught in the net, dropped the shoulder, and just sniped one under the arm of the Ottawa goaltender. Obviously, this is a goal scorer's goal, you know, squeak through. But, man, Cole Caulfield had such great chances last night in the game. Uh, his shot is lethal. Whenever he, Every time he shoots the puck, you never know if it's going to go in. And this guy, uh, you know, is uh, gets off maybe like four to five shots a game when he, when he was in last year. I uh, can't wait to see what a full season of him is like like I said but I do really think that this guy's the X factor the, uh, of the Montreal Canadiens for this season I think if Cole has a good season I think the Montreal Canadiens will have a great season and, and some things to note from last night too like Slav had a great game Suzuki's looking really good and their power play unit's looking great too so uh, I think this team uh, is going to have a great season uh, I think we could potentially see him pushing for the playoffs I know Mark's going to disagree with me here but I do think Cole Caulfield's going to have a great year Mark I said to you last year on day one I'm going to say to you again Cole Caulfield is on 50 watch this year. I think this guy's going to go out there, score 50 goals this year. Uh, he was on pace for it last year uh, before he went down with that injury. But I really do think that Caulfield scores 50 this year. What do you think, Mark? I think 50 is a possibility. I mean, we've seen this guy's shot. We've seen the opportunities he can put on this net to put the puck in. But overall, I think just Montreal's offense, when they start getting later into the season, people start to get a little wear and tear. We'll see a full season of Cole. I think 50 is very possible. But I think he's definitely at 30 to 40 goals this year at the minimum. Yeah, I definitely see him hitting 40 at least, but I do really think he's going to hit that 50 mark this year. And I'm going to put my prediction at 52. Mark it down, clip it, whatever you want to do. But when it happens, come back to me and say I got it right because I know I'm going to tell you. But we're going to get into our next player here. I know a player... 
that Mark's excited about, and that's Connor Timmons. He really impressed in that Hockeyville game last night uh, as he was the first star with four points, two goals, two assists, 20 minutes time on ice. Mark, I'm going to give you the floor here because he looked really good last night. Yeah, he looked outstanding for the Leafs. We just seen with some of the passes where he set up Domi, which was just an incredible feed when he came out of the box. A guy like Kyle Clifford got set up by him. And not only that, he played a full 20 minutes with two goals as well. He was putting pucks on that. He was actively jumping up. His skating looked improved. And just overall, his game looked outstanding. It was kind of shocking because I wasn't expecting this from this guy, where last season we didn't see a lot of him. We do have him. He's a bit of a project. But it really scares me in the fact that we might lose lose this guy in waivers i know for a while people are saying okay 1.1 million if we put him in waivers teams might not afford him but i could definitely see a team that has this cap space a team that might have a guy that they'll play some waivers as well i could see this guy 100 percent getting claimed he's a young guy like i said his shot looked great his passing looked incredible he was jumping on the rush offensively he looked incredible last night and it puts management into a weird situation of what do we do do we let this guy go to waivers do we lose him do we just put seven defensemen out we'll play one less forward keep timmons up kind of rotate him this is a guy i could definitely steal i see stealing minutes from giordano or lilgren depending on lilgren's development and how giordano slows down with age both guys do look good but i think with timmons if this keeps up it really puts shelton keith in the situation of we can't just not play this guy if he's performing like this he's looking incredible he's putting pucks on net he's scoring he's passing he's a big body if he can develop his game to an all round kind of situation i think this is a huge part for the leafs it's always nice to have defensemen you can play i know we have benoit like i said giordano lilgren but this guy could definitely come in game one and i would not be mad with him playing yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there, Mark. If he stays consistent with these type of performances, I know he's not going to put up four points every night, but, you know, if he can go out there and get a point tonight, I think this guy is definitely going to solidify himself uh, on this uh, Leafs defense. Uh, I really do think he had a great game last night. And like you said, I think throughout the season or throughout this preseason, he's going to go out to develop his defensive game. I think this guy is going to be a great uh, addition for the Leafs. I know he was there last year, but this year it seems like he's going to get into the lineup uh, uh, more often uh, than not and I just excited to see what he has to do here but we're going to take a look at this beautiful feed he had last night on Max Domi's goal he throws a huge stretch pass fully up dice hits Domi in stride and he just takes to the net tucks under the Buffalo goalie and with skill like this uh, with the passing is like you said his shot looked phenomenal last night uh, I really do think that uh, early I think he's going to slip himself uh, in the D maybe as a healthy scratch maybe coming in for Gio. I don't think Gio's going to play that many games this year. I hope he does because I'm a big fan of Gio. But uh, I do think Timmons is going to be there all year round. And, and like you said, at 1.1 million, I mean, this guy can do it all. I think this is a steal for him uh, as well. Uh, I really do uh, like Connor, Connor Timmons for the Leafs this year. But we're going to have to see what happens here. We're going to talk about our next player here, which is Matthew Joseph. He dominated last night in that game against the Montreal Canadiens, but ultimately they did come up short. He was the third star with two goals, 21 minutes time on ice, but this guy, Mark, really impressed me last night. I was a, I've been following Matthew Joseph for quite a while now. I followed him when he was on Tampa, and then now where he's on Ottawa. I know last year he had a bit of a down year, but he worked so much this offseason that it showed last night. His shot, man, last night was unreal. I couldn't believe it. The power that was coming off that wrist shot was unreal. We're going to show you the clips of both of his two goals last night, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Just take a look at this. Even in slow motion, you can see, boom, he snipes the top corner there, and then same type of shot under Savard, then gets right past Jake Allen. I mean, this guy's got a bright future ahead of him. Some Someone who kind of uh, might have been on the Ottawa Senators trade block because they're trying to get Pinto signed. I uh, don't really have the cap room for him right now, but I think Matthew Joseph's performance last night, if he keeps this up throughout the rest of the preseason, I think he makes the top six for Ottawa going in uh, to the season. Yeah, the big thing with Joseph is we've seen last year he went down with an injury. He wasn't with the team for a lot of it. He had a really down year going into this training camp and preseason. They were talking about moving him. Like you said, Shane Pinto's a priority. They need to get this guy signed. 
But this kind of performance where you see him go up, put two goals, he was flying around the ice, he looked great. It's hard for Ottawa just to look at this guy now as a, okay, we need to get rid of him. And they now need to look at him and be like, if this continues, we need to find a spot for him, which kind of makes it interesting. You see Ottawa, they might start shuffling things around. You might see a couple guys moved. But I think Joseph, if he can keep this up, would be a massive part for the Sens. I could see a middle six role. You put him as a wing on either the second or third line. But overall, if this guy keeps us up, he looks rejuvenated. If he can capitalize on this strong start and not have a season like last year, I think it's going to be hard for the Sens to kind of look in the mirror and just be like, we need to move this guy, especially if he's going to help contribute, if he can get back on his pace of what he was doing in previous seasons. I think he looked great. I think he'd be great on the Sens team. And if they can make the cap work, I think he'll ultimately stay here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely agree with you. And with Josh Norris coming back too, I think that's someone who he would kind of be paired up with during the regular season. And just having him and Josh Norris together, that would be such a lethal second line. Uh, a playmaker like Norris with a with a pure sniper like Matthew Joseph. I think the Ottawa Senators are going to have a great year this year, Mark. I think they got the roster. And, and Corpusalo looked really good for him last night as well in that uh, I'm really hyped on this Ottawa team this year. This whole Atlantic defense vision is going to be crazy like we've men mentioned before but we want to hear your guys takes on all this down below what do you think of Cole Caulfield is he hitting 50 because I definitely think he, do he is do you think Timmons makes the opening lineup for the Leafs let us know and what do you think about the whole Matthew Joseph saga will he be moved will he be in the lineups let us know down below but we're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here comment of the day and the comment of the day today goes to Andrew he says it's a good channel keep it up shout out to you andrew thanks for watching the videos thanks for your support we really appreciate it and everybody watching the videos we really appreciate all your guys support i know we're on our second video of the day here right now uh we're just buzzing uh we're so hyped that hockey's back there's so much news coming out every day it's hard to cover it all but we're trying we're trying if there's anything that you want us to talk about put it down in the comment section below because you never know we can make a video on it we always like going down see what you guys have to say if you like this video go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're gonna try to hit 2,000 subscribers before the season starts i know we only got 12 days mark but i mean we've been growing rapidly here i see crazier things happen but uh, i've been casey alongside my co-host mark pie keep your stick on the ice